Hello friend, and uh, welcome back to another Unity tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you how to make your own custom hand gestures uh, so that you can attach it to your own avatar. This is a follow-up to my other tutorial on how to make gestures uh, for avatars, or how to replace the custom gestures that you have in case you had something like Lace It, which has a completely different gesture set, which makes the gestures kind of go back to default, which doesn't look the greatest and doesn't you know, give you enough to work with, I feel. Um, one thing that I did forget to mention on that one is that if you were to say attach um, for the action layer, if you were to attach, what do we call it to it? It's at the top and I forgot that it was, but this one to it, um, you would have a set of nasty default gestures. So let me go into the gesture layer for the Yuri real quick. Grab this. Um, select all of these except for the exit and entry states. Copy those. You can then go into the other um, controller. Go over here for right hand. Go here, delete these, and paste. Um, then what you would do is you would, you know, select all these that you can, move them over so that it's better, and set that as the default state. And then you would have a synced um, gesture state from the other one. So you can do that with the left hand as well. So this this becomes much easier than having to specifically uh, select one thing individually. And by unselecting those, I was just holding down control and clicking those so that they would so that they would be correct. Yeah, let's go back here. Let's go to the left hand and let's just Delete, paste. Move. And set default layer. And that's how you would do that quickly if you were trying to basically just copy one gesture layer from another. Um, one thing I did forget to mention is that you would also have to copy the parameters from the gesture layer to this new action layer, but there's an easy way to do that that VRChat will automatically allow you to do. So there's this thing called the Creator Companion, and the Creator Companion um, comes with a thing called uh, Avatar 3.0 Manager. And so what you would do is you'd go up here to VR Labs 3.0, and you would take this action layer thingy right here, right? Oh, sorry, you have to take the um, avatar itself. You would go over to the action layer because that's where the lace it is there. You add animator to merge and you would merge on this animator controller. No, sorry. I was getting a bit ahead of myself. What you would do is you would go to the god Yuri, go to the animations, the expressions, no. Playable, grab the gesture layer. There it is. And you would merge on current. And yeah, so that is how you would basically make those two indistinguishable while still also having all of the things that you need. Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to go and make a brand new one. And uh, this comes from somebody who asked me how specifically to make a middle finger animation. So I'm going to assume that you don't have any extra animations. So what we're going to do is you're going to go uh, down where the SDK is now. Um,
Samples demo. Nope. Animations. Nope. Um, okay, so it is in the proxy animations, but what we're going to do is we're going to just grab a uh, proxy rock and roll, right? Is there no proxy rock and roll? Oh, it's proxy hands rock. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this one. I go take it right into our gesture thing and we are just going to paste never mind open idle thumbs up there it is okay so Duplicate it. I'm going to take this hand rock one, move it where our gestures is, go back to the gesture, and we'll see this one. We're going to rename this one to middle finger. And then we're going to open up the animation tab. <sighs> now this should also be um, fairly easy to see when we go down over here. And since we need a um, animation controller on this one, what we're going to do is we are going to create a new animation controller. Alright, so we are going to have this one called Testing Gestures, and we will attach it to our Yuri thusly. And so if we go into Testing Gestures, we're just going to... Um, I did name it Middle Finger. So we're going to go here, and then the entry is going to be into Middle Finger. This is going to allow us to change the um, thing when we go into Play Mode. So we're going to go back to scene. Our gesture is attached to our avatar. And that looks like a pretty good at rock and roll. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into the animation. And we are going to I believe this is a single frame animation, which means that we only have to edit one set of values, which is these ones. So what we're going to do, disable the gizmos up top so we can actually see what our Yuri is doing. Uh, for this one, we want more closed, more closed, and more closed. Basically, to replicate Stretched, slightly stretched, pull back, you don't want it to look too nasty. So what I'm looking at right here, right now, is I'm looking at this hand specifically. So if we just, you know, zoom into it, I was working on editing this hand. Uh, the spread's fine. Um, we're going to go to uh, next after index is the little, so the pinky finger. We're going to edit this one so that basically the same, so that it's really pulled in. Uh, next one is middle, and we're going to want this one to be stretched out. Uh, 
and that looks pretty natural for the most part. I'll probably uh, edit this a little bit and actually have the thumb spread out a little bit, but for the most part, that's pretty good. Then we're going to pull the ring in uh, a little bit more. Um, up at the top, that one can be out a little bit, and then scroll back down over to the thumb. And excuse me, we're gonna go back to editing the URI here with the thumb. And we're gonna watch the thumb spread out a little bit. Spread and we'll pull it in just a little bit. Okay, I'd say that's a pretty good hand gesture. Then what we're going to do is we're going to, instead of going to the base layer, because this was just basically for testing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our URI unplay mode, take this testing gestures controller off of it, go back to project. And now the middle finger animation controls all of the animation data that we want for our thing. So what we are going to go do is go to the gesture layer Go to the right hand, and for rock and roll, we are just going to go in and replace that like that, and that like that. Now, if I go um, and attach the gesture controller for the Aries To my avatar when I go to play mode. What I can also do is go to the gesture manager and go to rock and roll. And you'll see that our custom rock and roll being played on just one hand. So um, give me a moment to figure out what I'm doing and I will be right back. All right, um, so I figured out what our issue was. If I go to something like this finger gun specifically, you'll see that not only does it have right hand animation data, but it has left hand animation data as well. So we're going to have to go and add that to our, you know, middle finger. So what we're going to go do is we're going to come to the animation tab. And not look at finger gun, but we're going to look at the middle finger animation. So what we're going to go do is we're going to come here. We're going to click add property, go to the animator. And we're going to go ahead, left, hand, total degree of freedom. And that should have added all of these other animation properties right to our thing so what we're going to do is we're going to then go back into play mode and we are going to copy all of the gesture data from the right hand onto the left hand So I'm going to have to take all of the left hand ones. And control 
irgendwie. So let's take some looks. Let's make it as good as possible. Okay, we're going to take these numbers and we're going to copy it for the left side. There we are. And now the middle fingers should look exactly correct. So since we already attached this to our Garduri, what we will do is we will go to unplay mode it. Then we will come over here, go back to none. Press play mode. Tap on the gesture manager, which is also included inside of your thing. Uh, it's going into hand idle right now, which, you know, that's fine. I'm going to make it go to rock and roll on the left hand, which gives us our custom middle finger gesture. And then we are going to come over here and go to rock and roll on this side. It is going to give us our other custom rock and roll gesture. And just to show you that these are slightly different than the God Yuri's, the regular God Yuri's, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back, go back to unplay mode it. Go here, um, open the gesture layer, come back over here to gesture, um, and I'm going to do, I'm going to replace rock and roll with the old rock and roll just to show you that this is indeed different and was not using some, you know, thing going on in the background to change it. So let's just go to play mode, gesture manager come back and check out rock and roll now see our thumb that i made for our custom gesture the thumb is extended this one the thumb is tucked inside the index finger just so you can see that this middle finger gesture does indeed work thank you so very much for watching if you would like to join my discord the link is in the description please leave a like subscribe comment any um video ideas you have for me um anything that you need me to show you how to do in unity and i will go ahead and make a video about it um at some point i do want to uh probably you know not have a rude gesture being displayed Uh, but yeah, so again, do all the YouTube things down below. Um, follow my Twitter. Uh, sometimes shenanigans happens there. Most of the time it's just stupid stuff. I don't post my own stuff on Twitter most of the time, but when I am feeling up for it, I do. Um, and just, uh, yeah, have a good day.